In this week's episode, I drill something. <laughs> Neev wonders what this thing is called. What are these called? <laughs> and I grind something. You may remember from a previous episode we were working on the hatch. Well, I decided to pull the finger out and get it done. This is me working in real time. So now that I've got the hatch kind of all taped up, um, I'm going to use this primer. So it's a Sika Primer 209N. Um, this is actually for use with the Sikaflex 295 UV, which I'm going to use to seal this. Um, the 295 UV is, is obviously it's UV resistant, so I'm not going to have any issues with the sealant failing kind of prematurely. Um, this is the sealant I'm going to use, so 295 UV, and this is the specific primer, so um, they should work together quite nicely. sealed this hatch now, um, it has a, kind of squeezed out all around and I've cleaned it up as best I can. Um, I don't think it was surpassed like a really tough scrutiny but luckily the captain of the ship is supposed to be pretty easy going about this kind of stuff so um, I think he'll be okay with it. Um, I think it should be good, I mean yeah there's, it seems like there's adequate, adequate sealant on it so I guess we can just fizz it and if it leaks it leaks, if it doesn't then great. So yeah, we'll leave it at that. I think. Just let it go home. So you might remember in a previous episode we were working on the windows. Um, this is 10 millimeter acrylic, um, and it's been CNC'd to, sh to the shape of the windows inside. So what I'm going to be working on today is I'm going to be drilling out the holes um, to fit the windows and kind of figure out how much and what and what hardware I need. Um, next steps after that then will be to same same kind of steps as we did with the hatch um, is to prep this and using 209N to kind of create a, a prime surface and then use 295 UV so that'll that'll seal those windows in tight. Um, what I'm going to do with these that I should have done with the with the hatch is I should I should have spaced the acrylic up off the aluminium. So with these I'm going to get a put of maybe a three mil spacer in. Um, so when these are when these are bonded in. There'll be a three mil gap um, where the filler will be, where the, the the sealant will be. So then, when that sealant is dry, um, I'll be able to squeeze it in a bit more, so it'll like, act more as a ga as a gasket rather than just a seal. So then I'll have a really good solid sealed window. Um, I'll use M6 fasteners around there as well. So th this should be a very very strong window, um, and it shouldn't leak ever. Hopefully, so we say that, but we'll see. Um, kind of started mocking up where the hatch is going to be too. Um, after Simon kind of set up where, you know, I cut it, cut it out to shape and stuff. Um, and now that the hatch is actually sealed, I can start thinking about where it's going to be bolted down. So I think it's in place now, so it should open up like this. Um, and that's going to be really nice. It's a really nice big hatch as well. So I kind of like that. This, I was kind of a bit pissed off with the way this, um, seal turned out, but it actually after looking at it again isn't the worst. I might add a bit more sealer to the top of it, but yeah, it's okay. It'll look good. I think it's gonna look nice.
Um, Cleaning! <laughs> what are these called? <laughs> They're stanchions. What? They're called stanchions. Hold on, let me take my earphones off. Stanchions. Stanchions, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we are cleaning up the stanchions. Because they're Hang on. really dirty. As you can see, so... Polishing and cleaning. The stanchions. Now that we've got the windows kind of mocked up, um, these are all drilled um, and ready for kind of sealant. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to seal them um, before I paint. And what that'll do is it'll be sealed and then I'll, ma I'll uh, mask up the window maybe with a 5mm kind of edge and then paint. So that'll, that'll cover up the sealant um, and it'll add an extra bit of kind of protection for the sealant so that'll be a really nice kind of finish um, but I'm really happy with the windows they're looking really good the boat's kind of a bit of a mess at the moment so we're hoping to uh, power wash it in the next few weeks um, the weather's supposed to be nice but it's very very cold so I can't do any painting either um, hopefully in the next maybe eight weeks I'll be able to actually get some paint on the boat and finish that off but yeah it's coming along well yeah so that's it for today um, really appreciate you watching again and thanks again to Doug uh, from SV Seeker for giving us that call out because that really um, gave us a good boost. Um, it really, you know, I signed in this, the other morning and I think we had four or five hundred extra subs, so that was great. I really, really appreciate the dog. Thank you. Um, another project I've actually been uh, watching for the last maybe a month or so is um, a guy called Tony over in northern Germany. He's an English fella who's um, living in Germany and he's building a 31.8 foot um, sailboat out of wood and he's doing it in his garage and um, the channel is called SV Tapatia I think it's Tapatia sorry if I said it wrong Tony um, but it's the link is in, in my description and I put a card up in the corner as well um, Tony's doing really well he's he's um, his channel's kind of kicked off really well in the last maybe three or four weeks as well so he's definitely worth a watch he's got all his um, he's got all his kind of his bulkheads in place now and the boat's starting to take shape so uh, keep it up Tony it's it's going really well yeah, as usual, slow, slow week, slow weekend. I mean, these these videos take, well, these uh, all these jobs take a while. So, um, I've got the four hatch almost ready to go. Um, all the windows are mocked up and ready to go. Um, once I have my once I have my finishing plates from stainless, I'll be able to fit the windows fully with my um, sealant and bed them in properly. Um, and then I can start moving towards getting the boat ready for paint. Uh, once the weather gets a bit warmer as well, we can we can start doing that. But um, for now, we just kind of have to do the pro do the small projects and work towards that goal. If there is anything you want to know, or if there's any questions you have, um, leave a comment and I'll answer the questions for you. And if there are enough questions in the next couple of weeks, I'll put together a Q and A, um, and I'll just release that midweek as a kind of a standalone video. Just if you have any specific questions about the boat, about um, the funding, anything. Just let me know and I'll, I'll answer those questions in another video. So thanks again for watching and see you next week.